I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to sketch a piecewise function. So we have taken an example here. Graph the following piecewise function f of x equals to x square when x is less than or equal to 2 and it is equals to 2x minus 6 when x is greater than 2. So best way to graph is to make table of values, right? So let's make table of values to graph. So the first one is when x is less than 2, right? At that time, f of x equals to x square. So f of x equals to x square when x is less than equal to 2. So what we can do is we can begin by taking values like 2, 1, 0, minus 1, and 2. Let's calculate these values using calculator. Well, x square, so 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, 0, 1, and 4. So we get these values. Now, let us also sketch what happens when we have x values which are greater than 2. Right. So now we will do for x greater than 2. In that case, the function f of x is equal to 2x. So greater than 2, uh, let's take the value 2 also and we say it is slightly more than 2. So I'm just putting that plus here, slightly more than 2. But I'll place 2 here, so we get 2 times 2 minus 6 and then if I write 3 so we'll write 3 here 2 times 3 minus 6 and we can write 4 2 times 4 minus 6 right so that gives you 4 minus 6 as minus 2 6 minus 6 is 0 and that is 8 minus 6 is 2 you could write 2 to the power of 2 times this minus 6 which will be 4 right so these are the values so once you have the values you can have a calibrated graph, but we'll do with our approximate one. So, okay, so let me sketch my graph. So we're looking for some values uh, between, let's say, let's say two to five, okay. So what we'll do here is we'll make more towards the left side, okay. And what we have is most of the values are positive for us, except for this. So, so we'll make this side like no. <clears throat> so, so let's say this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's say this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay, this is minus 2. Right. So the values here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. That's 0. And on the y-axis, we are going up to 4. That's okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this is minus 2 for us. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So on the graph, let's plot these values. The first one on the left side is for fx equals to x squared. So the parabola taking the values from 2. 2 is included here. 2 square is 4, so 2 square is 4, so we get this filled up value. And then at 1 it is 1, so at 1 it is kind of 1, and then it is 0, and then it is 1, you know, it's symmetric, right? So the graph is kind of like this. You could have gone like this, and you know how parabolas are. It starts from here, moves downwards, correct? And then, you know, it's symmetric about this. So we could just sketch like this. So that gives us for less than equal to 2. The other part of the get of, uh, of this graph is a straight line 2x minus 6 at slightly more than 2 that means at 2 we'll have open circle it is minus 2 so at 2 it is minus 2 so that is the open circle right at 3 it is 0 and then it moves on it's a straight line so let me just connect it like this okay so that becomes the graph treat the other line as a straight line which is 2x minus 6 and this one is x squared. So see this is a filled up. So in this particular piecewise function we have two pieces one represented by the parabola the other one by a straight line and what you observe here is kind of a discontinuity. Do you see that? And this discontinuity type is called jump discontinuity. Okay so we have done this. 
Let us also write domain and range of this function. Can you write down domain and range? Let's write down. Domain is what? So domain of this function is, since we have some values at 2, therefore the domain is x belongs to real numbers. How about range? Range of this function is always greater than minus 2, right? So it's y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than minus 2. So note, it is not equal to minus 2, right? But anyway, in this video, we have learned a very important technique and that is to graph piecewise function, it is good to have table of values. They help. And it is very important to analyze the point where the graph switches over from one piece to another. So I use this kind of plus to indicate that we are now working on the second piece. Right? But it's important to check the starting point, which can be shown as open circle. So this point here is shown as open circle. That means not included. This one is closed circle or filled in circle. Do you see that? So that is how we should be sketching piecewise functions. I am Anil Kumar and I hope all this is absolutely clear. If you have questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you and all the best.